Hello, Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, Master Replicas is having this big sale. Uh, they are getting rid of all the Eagle Moss stock that they um, got after Eagle Moss went out of business because the line was very popular. They had a lot of ships and they had a lot of stock and they were still selling it. And I thought this was just going to be ongoing. I didn't realize there was like a time frame. They basically only had to. Um, the end of this month basically to sell off all this stock. I'm like, why would you do that? Why not just keep selling them and maybe even start producing more if enough people are buying them and it was popular. It was mismanagement that ruined the line, not that it wasn't popular, not that people weren't buying them and they weren't actually producing them every month. I mean, that's just disappointing. And the worst part is I was under the impression that I couldn't buy any of these, that they wouldn't ship to Australia, so I never really looked at the website. Um, and I think I got that idea from the original magazine and that when it was coming out that they wouldn't do back issues or anything um, for Australia, uh, I believe, at the time. And I just assumed that was something that continued and that I wasn't able to actually buy them. And I just realised when I actually went to the site, I just wanted to see what was left and what was there. And I realised that I actually could buy them. I, I just did a little trial and it's like, oh yeah, they sent to Australia. So this whole time I could have been buying them. Now... The other thing that sort of makes this a bit easier is when I actually looked through, there wasn't much I wanted. Um, they only did a couple of extra large ships. Um, the smaller ones just seemed pointless to me. I mean, if there isn't a model or a toy already, and the only version of it is this, I guess, you know, and if they're all the same scale, it can kind of work as a collection. But I didn't really see the point of buying them at the small scale, and they only did a few of the large ones. I think VG was a large one. I wanted that. Um, they had an extra large of the JJ... Prize and um, Discovery, although because Discovery is such a long, thin ship, it really just ends up looking really small and fragile still, even though it's large. But um, the only thing I was really interested in were the um, sort of the movie era, sort of the sort of more standout um, ships and things that didn't get models or big toys, like the um, the Starship, I mean the space station from Star Trek Three, and uh, the Grissom. And um, although that has recently gotten a model, actually, but um, more the regular one station, um, the K7 station, although that already has a model, but yeah, you know, they don't have toys. So the models, they have the models, but you have to paint them yourself. It's not the same as having someone else do it and then be able to look at that objectively and not just see faults in it. So it's a bit more enjoyable. But um, yeah, so I'm a little disappointed because I could have been buying some of these because I'd seen ads for like sets of shuttles. Because the only other thing I really liked was the shuttles because even though they're still small, because just the nature of the shuttles being like a little brick, um, they look quite decent, even at a small size. So they're, they're only doing them at 2.5, 2.7 inches, most of them. But um, I've got a couple, like, 3-inch shuttles, 3.5-inch shuttles that look quite good. So I wouldn't have minded getting them. The only thing that bothered me was they didn't do the Star Trek V shuttle. They did the Henson or whatever it's called from um, Generations, which they basically repainted the, the model from Star Trek V. They basically just put next generation shuttle windows up windows on the side and wrote you know the d on there and that um and basically to use that ship but I, I i'm like how can you not do the star trek 5 shuttle it was so prominent in that film i just wanted one of that scale wise to go with my other um galileo and that but they didn't do it but they kind of did it but they didn't but um i didn't want to buy a box set of four when usually there was only one in each one that i wanted so i sort of saw those advertised a couple of times I'm like yeah no, i'm not gonna spend 150 dollars on you know, a set of four shuttles when there's only one I actually want. I'll, maybe I'll chase it down on eBay or something. But um, when I actually looked, most of the ones I wanted, the one from Star Trek VI, the um, the shuttle pod from 1, 2, um, and 4, and um, the Delta Flyer and the Captain's Yacht and um, the Galileo and the three different shuttles from Next Generation, they're all there, and most of them are there, and they're all separate. And the only thing that actually was interesting to me that sold out was... Um, Vija. The rest was still sort of there, except um, one of the space stations wasn't there. The, the, um, the mushroom wasn't there, but the others were. So I could have bought them, and I, and it's annoying because the sale is you spend over a hundred. Um, I think it's like twenty percent or something, and if you spend over one hundred and fifty, it's thirty percent. If you spend over two hundred, it's forty percent. If you spend over five hundred, it's fifty percent. If you spend over a thousand, it's sixty percent. And so you get rewarded the more you buy. So I had like eight things in there, and the price was really great. I'm like. I can't buy all this. I'll just get the one shuttle that looks like the Enterprise, you know, shuttle from five. And then I went to put that through and the price went up. And the the postage was forty five dollars for the whole lot, for like eight. And then when I went down to one it was still forty five. I'm like, oh, I can't do that. It's only like ten dollars off the regular price and the postage is like huge. 
I can get it for probably twenty dollars more on eBay later because I'm kind of you know overspent. I um bought a few tube master universe and um transformers things this month, so I really didn't have the budget for this sale. But if I'd known in advance that the sort of they were only going to have the contract till the end of the year, which I didn't realise, and I had a bit of a look at the site and realised that I could buy stuff and have it shipped to Australia, I might have actually got some of these. But yeah, it's. I think it's ending on Tuesday the 18th that the contract's done, um, so they'll be selling them till then. Um, the main sale, I think, goes over the weekend, but then Monday, Tuesday, they'll still be available, and I won't be getting any. I have to hunt a few on eBay, I guess, but um, yeah, it's all a bit sad. I just don't understand why they don't continue on, why someone doesn't get a contract to continue selling the ones that are already made, it's just sitting there, and then continue actually making them and continue on the line. So, But maybe someone else will, we'll see.